Do the parents of a first grade girl have a right to know if teachers and administrators at her school are encouraging her to believe that she's really a boy trapped in a girl's body? This seems like a simple question with an obvious answer. The answer is yes. Yes, of course, the parents of a minor should at the very least know if their kid's school is influencing them toward making such a life-altering choice. Now, who's going to tell the public school district in Madison, Wisconsin? The Madison Metropolitan School District, a taxpayer-funded and government-run public education system, decided in 2018 that students of any age could take on a transgender identity with the school's assistance and without parents' knowledge or consent. The district's policy requires that all teachers not only affirm any gender identity a child of any age requests, but actively conceal it from parents. Madison's policy even directs teachers to keep parents in the dark by using their child's birth name and pronouns whenever the parents are nearby. Think about that. If seven-year-old Lily decides that she is really Luther, her teachers must call her Luther, except when Lily's parents come in for a parent-teacher conference or school activity. For many parents, the local public school is their only option. It's also run by the government, which has an obligation to protect parents' rights to direct the upbringing of their children, a right that has been clearly affirmed by the U.S. Supreme Court and the Wisconsin Supreme Court. At a minimum, parents have a moral and legal right to know what is going on with their children. Studies have shown that the vast majority of children who experience gender dysphoria, the feeling that they don't fit their biological sex, ultimately outgrow those feelings by puberty or adulthood. By contrast, studies also show that affirming a young child's gender dysphoria can have the opposite result, reinforcing these feelings well into adulthood, and leaving parents out of the discussion makes matters even worse. As one expert, clinical professor of psychiatry at Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine, Dr. Stephen B. Levine has put it, For a child to live radically different identities at home and at school and to conceal what he or she perceives to be his or her true identity from parents is psychologically unhealthy in itself and could readily lead to additional psychological problems. Meaningful and healthy support of a child struggling with gender issues must include parents. It's obvious why the moral duty of any school and certainly the legal duty of a public school, is to inform the parents of children who are struggling with gender dysphoria. And it should go without saying that parents should never be lied to about what is going on with their own children. But all this took a distant second place to Madison Public School District's stated goal, to disrupt the gender binary. In May 2019, One of the schools in the district held an assembly where kindergartners through fifth graders were made to watch a video of one of their teachers. In the video, the teacher read a book that says things like, are you a boy or a girl? How can you be both? Some days I am both. Some days I am neither. Most days I am everything in between. Then came the big reveal. The teacher, six and seven-year-olds were told, now identifies as the opposite sex. Under the school policy, disrupting the gender binary also means leaving it up to teachers and minor children whether or not the parents deserve to be included in developing a gender support plan. And to keep parents as in the dark as possible, the policy instructed teachers to file the plan in their own confidential records, not in student records, which parents have a legal right to see. In response to this abuse of power and dereliction of duty by the Madison Public School District, 14 parents, with the help of Alliance Defending Freedom, together with lead counsel from the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, sued the district, calling on the court to uphold the fundamental rights of parents that are under threat from the policy. In September 2020, the court temporarily blocked the school district from lying to or deceiving parents about the gender identity their child may have adopted at school but the case is far from over. Parents should be able to trust their children's teachers to uphold basic values and to affirm biological realities. They shouldn't have to take legal action to establish those basic expectations, but today, apparently they do. Is something similar happening at a school district near you? You're not alone. Reach out to www.adflegal.org contact us to find out more.